Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the one circuit based on the JK flip flop. So in this circuit, the initial state Q is equal to zero, and at every clock pulse, this Q output is observed. So here, we have been asked to find the output sequence at the Q output. So in this circuit, as you can see, the K input is connected to the one, while the Q bar output is connected to the J input. And here, the continuous clock pulses are applied to this clock input. So since it is the edge ticker flip flop, so it will respond to the clock pulses only at the rising edge of the clocks. So here, initially we have been given that this Q output is equal to zero. That means this Q bar will be equal to one, and the same one will also appear over here. That means now, at the rising edge of the clock, if you see. Then this J input is equal to one, while the K input is also equal to one. So as you know from the truth table of the JK flip flop, when its both inputs are one, then the output of the flip flop will toggle. That means now this Q will become one, while the Q bar will become zero, and the same zero will also appear over here. So now at the next rising edge, if you see, then this J is zero, while the K is equal to one. And therefore, the flip flop will get reset to zero. That means now this Q will become zero, while the Q bar will become one, and the same one will once again appear over here. That means now if you see, then this J input is one, while the K input is also equal to one. So once again, since both inputs are one, so the output of the flip flop will toggle, and once again this Q will become one. So as you can see, at the every clock transition, the output of the flip flop is toggling. That means if we see the sequence at this Q output, then it will be like one zero one zero one zero. And therefore, for the given question, this is the correct answer.